It's windy, so I don't know how well this is going to work out with my microphone, but it's time to bring out the Golden Goose for 2024. If you don't know what this is, I'll put a link in the description. This is the Mongoose Durham, Durham 26. I called it Project Pork Chop, and then when I golded it out, I settled on the Golden Goose. Because, yeah, I went a little crazy with some of the gold. Now, some of this, the wheels I actually did purchase specifically for this, but a lot of this other stuff, I think I had this fork. I bought it when it was on sale. I bought these at one point when it was on sale. I had these things. I bought a bunch of these little color accents here for these IXF type crank sets and the snail chain ring. Of course, I did go with the golden chain. I believe I added that just, you know, because of the gold. Acolyte drivetrain with a clutch. Pretty cool. It's a good setup. Now this does have an integrated hanger, so usually my no-no, but I just couldn't resist. Because look at this. That is such a beautiful bike. Anytime I drag this out, it gets attention and not negative attention. Yeah, it is overkill to put a downhill fork on a bike like this. But when it comes out looking like this, people, it catches their eye. And then the people that I have let ride this, which has been a select crew, they've all said, wow, this is actually a fun, fun little bike because it has the benefits of downhill with the 26 inch wheels and that big rake up front. I mean, just look at that. Such a good riding, such a fun riding bike with one exception. Okay, actually two exceptions. The first, I wish I had put a dropper post on this. I would have to route it externally, which is the reason I didn't, but I think I'm going to do that just because I have become addicted. I guess this is the adult mountain biker in me. I like being able to lower the saddle to get on and off the bike. This with the high saddle, and just the way it sits, getting on and off, I do wish I had the dropper and coming into berms, things like that. A dropper would be nice on this bike. And it's sitting so low, that 26 profile. Oh man, being able to drop that down, I could just dig into anything with this. So that's thing number one. Thing number two, and I was going to make a dedicated video on this, but I'll just make it in this one and just do a summary of it. This Acolyte drivetrain, which is okay on a bike like this, a definite improvement over the factory, this entire drivetrain. However, on this one and any bike that you let sit up, it went from shifting okay to not shifting all that well. I'll see, I don't have a camera angle where it was down on the frame, but you should be able to hear. Yeah, that's not a good kind of gnarly. That's real bad. It takes me to get from this gear. What speed is this? How many speeds did I put on this? This is an eight speed, an eight speed Acolyte. And the seventh speed to go from that to the slow gear, the granny gear, it takes 10 seconds of pedaling before it will make that transition. And then down here, say fourth and fifth, well, that sounds like this. Yeah, not good. And that is from just sitting up. I mean, things happen. Sit up in a basement. Sometimes my basement floods, so sometimes it's moist. Usually it's, it's humidity controlled. It never goes above about 65% humidity, but even when it's flooding. But still, sitting up, things just happen with cables. And this has obviously not fared well. Now, I've run into that on many, many bikes when I let them sit for a while. And this has been sitting for at least six months, I'm pretty sure, was the last time I had this out. I mean, you can see it's still... I haven't wiped it down. It's just still pretty... Kind. I think I wiped it down before I put it up last time. But you can see the travel marks there on the fork. And these tires don't have any little nubs on them or nubbins anymore. So this has been ridden. It just looks so good. And that's another thing. 
the paint on this really holding up well good job mongoose with the finish on this durham but i just wanted to drag it out for those that haven't seen it this is project pork chop slash the golden goose with its crazy crazy for oh yeah another thing this fork i have had forks before on bikes that sat outside or people have brought over bikes with a fork that is frozen up this one i thought i was never going to get it freed up it was just locked in place and finally man i was dialing away pressing down and finally i got it out and i rode it off the steps at my house and it freed up the fork so this did sit up some forks are like that they sit up for a while and will kind of freeze in place especially the budget and this is a i still don't know how you say this himalo himalo whatever it is i bought it and i think I, well i can't even remember what i paid somebody that had watched that video let me know what i paid for this fork but it kind of started the whole gold thing i think i got it and these brakes on some sale and i just picked them up oh one thing i did notice when i was pedaling up the hill here i don't know how well you can see it but this road nato i used road nato bars and a road nato stem and this road nato stem it just kind of sits at a weird angle now i've had stems like this before that sit with that up pitch on the top cap but never that have the writing where you can clearly see it when you're looking down usually the writing is angled just a little bit away so it's kind of a unique thing when i'm pedaling and i look down and i keep seeing the white writing it sounds trivial but it is somewhat distracting while i'm riding at least if i'm looking down at the front wheel i see that instead by the way this is an air fork and look at these little grips i'm gonna buy more of these they come in multiple colors what are they called u4 u4 these knobs everybody that has ridden this has i believe either purchased or talked about purchasing these grips they just feel that good it's a good little bike watch the base review on it here it is in 2024 you can still get these at walmart in their factory form and then well this is what i did with it i like it what do you think comment below i also want to mention if it sounds like i'm huffing it a little bit i haven't been able to ride on the trails in about two weeks because i've been burning up the interstate working on something big you'll hear about that in the future but for right now, getting back out here on a bike with, you know, eight speeds that turned into about four. Well, that was a tough climb up. Thank goodness there's somewhere to sit and recoup before I ride back down the trail. The Magnolia Trail, the one I sponsor. And by the way, I'm about to put a new magnet right up there. And I made the pit stop and put a button out. So if you ride these trails, look for those free for anyone that gets them it's kind of become a thing people riding out and getting the buttons or getting a magnet and every now and then i put a sticker up here it's gonna rain tonight so i have this magnet that'll be safe the button i hope someone gets before it rains either way it's a lot of fun if you come out to wildwood look for this and then look for the awesome trails they're doing such a good job on especially if you go that way and go across a road there's the ranger station side those trails really even better now even better than these i think although this one does have a little endearment to me i love it plus it's fun to ride and now i'm going to take the golden goose back down that trail and i'm going to go get something to eat because i am hungry starting out the morning early 39 degrees it was 70 yesterday having a little bit of fun my first day back on the bike in two weeks or back on a bike in two weeks or mountain bike and i chose the golden goose lots of glory lots of gold lots of fun still a good bike in 2024 i believe i did this in 2020 i did this build i like it what do you think comment below look at that vigilante just looks so good those wtb tires holding up well Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video. If you like it, subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.
Well, I was going to clip in here. My ride back down the hill would be super fun to see on this bike. But unfortunately, my stupid GoPro, let me start it here. Watch this. It will start recording and then it will turn itself off. It has 34% battery, 45 minutes of footage. Now, is it going to work? Oh, there we go. Yeah, battery low, 34%. And it tells me battery low. I hate GoPro, but I do like this bike. So I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching.